Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to disable your proxy server or settings or prevent the changing of such settings on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu and type in settings. Best result, should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the left panel, select network and internet. And then on the right side, you want to go down and select proxy. Now on the right side here, you can go ahead and configure your various settings. So if you want to disable the proxy, you can just select automatically detect settings. If you want to set up a script for the proxy, you can do that as well. So pretty straightforward process on that, guys. This is just where you go ahead and make whatever modifications or changes you'd want to, basically, on your computer. And if you wanted to go through the group policy editor, you can actually go ahead and prevent changing a proxy settings. So open up the search menu and type in GP edit. Best result, should come back with edit group policy. Go ahead and just I'll click on that to open it up. On the left side, you want to go underneath where it says user configuration. So underneath the bottom category of folders. And then double click on the administrative templates folder. Do the same thing for the Windows Components folder, and there should be an Internet Explorer item in here. On the right side, you want to look at something that says Prevent Changing Proxy Settings, and you might just have to search for it. So I just clicked on a random entry in here, and I just started typing Prevent Changing Proxy Settings. Double click on that. If you want to disable this entry, it will allow the user to configure proxy settings. So you can read a little help guide over here on the right. And that's pretty much it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.